Welcome to lesson six of MATLAB. And uh, we're gonna actually do a script that does the linear regression here. So first a little housekeeping stuff because now I'm gonna start being organized instead of just putting stuff in the main directory. I'm gonna make a new folder. It's empty, so I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna call it linreg1. And I'm gonna take the, the script to load, script two, which loads the data file in, the linear regression data into MATLAB. I'm going to take that and put it in here. Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to take that, copy that, and put that in here. I'm going to change the name of script two to be linreg1. <clears throat> okay, so that's done. I'm going to go back to here, and then you can go to get into that directory by clicking here and going into linreg1, and you got it. And so there it is. And then I can say edit linreg1.c.m, and up comes this thing. And so I want to redo this, but I want to I want to put all the I want to put all the um, um, put linear regression calculations here. But I want to see this raw graph first, for example. So I'm going to introduce a new command, pause. So pause stops the MATLAB program until you press the space bar key, any key to continue, basically. <clears throat> so I'll show you how that, well, I'll show you how that works when we get uh, closer to the time here. So. so I want to put the linear regression calculations here. How do I, how do I do that? Well, it turns out that the, the sum command is built into MATLAB. It's just sum. You don't have to do for loops. You don't have to do anything like that. You just have to do sums. So, and we don't have to declare the variables either. So you say sum x equals sum x, sum y equals sum, open parentheses, y, sum, z, sum xx equals sum x dot times x, not x times x, but x dot times x, row by row multiplication, sum y y equals sum y dot times y, sum x y equals sum x dot times y. I'm, all, I'm not doing this in the, I'm not doing this in the command window, I'm just writing a script because this is, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, putting all these commands in the script directly not um, uh, I'm not testing it out in the command uh, in the um, uh, command window first okay so then n equals 10 so then I can say m m equals n times sum sum x y minus sum x times sum y divided by n times sum xx minus sum x times sum x b equals sum y divided by n minus m times sum x divided by n and then denominator I'm just copying what I did in C basically, right? Is equal to n times sum x x minus oops minus sum x plus sum x. And of course you can just use in MATLAB you do have squared, so you can do that way. Times n times sum y minus sum y squared. R, R equals n times the sum xy minus sum x times sum y divided by the square root of sum uh, denom. We learned a lot of things in that thing. First off, we learned that squared is possible. 
right? These are all scalars, so I don't have to worry about dot times versus times, plain old times and plain old um, uh, squared here um, works. If you were doing vectors and you do row by row, you hit dot to the power or dot times or dot divide, but these are all scalar values, so I don't have to worry about that. And then I also learned that square root is a um, uh, square root is a, a function in C, and sum is a function in C. So uh, those are already built-in functions. And if you want to print it out, you just go M. If you want to print something out, you just put it screen without the semicolons, right? Oh, uh, we need R squared. So if you want to print it out to the screen, you don't have to say print F or anything. You just put the number, put the variable without semicolon after it. And you could have just done that here, um, here, and here. But I, you know. And then if you want to do, you want to print it out, you can go print, I mean, plot out the regression line, plot x, y, uh, red circles, and then x. And then I'm going to inline calculate the, the, the actual re regression line m. Times x plus b, a blue line. Uh, so we saved it. It's now it's saved. I'm looking for that star. That star's not there. I'm just going to run it here. First is this first one where I have to. It's paused, so I have to wait until I just press the space bar until it happens. And then this comes up, and then you have the m, b, and r squared values down here. So if I close, I cut over here, close that, then m, b, and r squared are the same values that they were before. And the, here's the figure. Uh, let's add one more thing. So I go up to edit linreg one data again, and let's add um, some some pretty stuff there, right? So let's say um, uh, let's add um, a title. And let's add an X label. And a Y label. And a legend. Save that, control S, I'm going to close it for now, run it again, pause, looks good. So that's how you comment, that's how you can put a title, a Y, a label, an X label, and a regression line, I mean, and a legend on um, uh, this, uh, on a figure in MATLAB, just in the command line. That's it. That's how, that's the linear regression program. So next time we're going to actually do it modularly. We're going to build our own MATLAB function.